This is going to be a video about my Sailor Moon VHS collection. Start with these ones. These ones were first released, I think, around the popularity height in, um, in America. This came out in the late 90s. I remember when when I was younger, about 13 or 14, buying these in the stores. A friend of mine found the article for these in the Toys R Us catalog. She just had to have one. So this is the one that was in the catalog. Secret Identities. My dad brought me home this one day. And Moonstar is born. I was so excited. It was just in such a nice shiny box. Then later on I got the Good Queen, Bad Queen one as a gift from my parents as well. And the last one I bought before they weren't in the stores anymore were Jupiter and Venus Arrive. I was able to get the other two on eBay later on when I got older. But this is the complete set. They're really pretty. They have some really pretty art on them. Flip them over so you can see the back. couple episodes each. They're not in any particular order really. Usually if it's a two-parter, they got both parts on there. Speaking of which, the... let's see... The last two, yeah. The last two have the, um... Crystal Clear Destiny and a Reluctant Princess on it. And then this one has the last two episodes, The Past Returns and Day of Destiny on them. And then these ones just have random ones. This is the first two episodes here. And then the one where Mercury and Mars comes. And then Jupiter and Venus on this one here. This one actually just has a... Uh, couple of random ones. One with Jedi in it, Cruise Blues, and then the other one Shutterbugged with Nethlite in it. It's a random collection. Next I have a couple. This one's from the S season. I bought this one for a particular reason. It has one of my favorite songs, the Soldier of Love song on it sung and translated in English. And plus, it's, it's one of my favorite episodes, too. Because Sailor Venus disguised herself as Sailor Moon. It's really funny. This one here is actually a really rare one. Love Conquers All. This is um, the last five episodes of the R season. Really hard to find. This one here was made for me by a girl I uh, messaged through eBay. We had bought a same the same set, and I was upset because I was like, uh, episode 67 isn't there. Well, I later found out that episode 67, I guess, was um, an episode that wasn't included in a lot of the versions of the DVDs. So she was nice enough to record the episode for me on a tape and send it to me for nothing. It was really nice. She also included Amy's First Love and the other Super S movies. This tape here is one that I actually made back in the day when uh, Cartoon Network was showing the Sailor Moon movies on their channel and I recorded them off the TV. And I decorated the box because that's what I like to do. <laughs> a 
I also put some fan art pictures, recorded some fan art pictures on the tape as well. This is my own little tribute to Sailor Moon. Over here, I actually finally got the copies on DV or um, on VHS. The R movie and the S movie, the Super S movie. And I also have the Japanese version on tape as well. These are bootleg copies. But the quality isn't too bad. And I like that they're in a hard case. Makes them look a little nicer. These ones over. I'm sure, a lot of people have these. They're a little more rare now than they were when they came out. Next, I have the entire Doom Tree series on tape as well. These ones were advertised back when the uh, the first tapes I showed you came out. And it came in a nice case. Decorated with the same kind of art as the other tapes were. There's that. Also, I wanted to include in this video. I was messing around with this. This was uh, shown in my trading card collection video. My fiance drew a picture of Sailor Moon on it. Did a really great job. Okay, well, this is my collection of VHS tapes, so please let me know what you think. Bye.